So let's get started by preparing our fish. Now, I've got this fish here, which is a dory fish. It was frozen, I defrosted it, and then just patted it dry. I cut it into kind of nice big slices there, as you can see. We're now gonna get some flour and some spices on it. I've got salt and pepper, about a teaspoon each, two teaspoons of chili powder, a quarter cup of corn flour or cornstarch, which is the same thing, and half a cup of wheat flour. Now, if you want, you can just use one or the other, but I just like the combination of that. I've got there about four to 500 grams of fish. What we're gonna do is get the fish in a bowl, mix all that in, give it a nice coating. So I've got our fish in a mixing bowl. I've got a glove on just cause I'm gonna get my hand in there. We're gonna start off by adding the salt and the pepper, about a teaspoon each, two teaspoons of chili powder, the cornstarch or corn flour, and the wheat flour, all purpose flour. Very simply, we're just gonna work this in and give it a really nice coating. And then we get to the cooker and we're gonna fry this off in some oil, get it prepared, and then we can get on by making the sauce for this beautiful, beautiful fish dish. See you in a moment. So here we are at the cooker. I've got a pan here. I've got like two centimeters of oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could be using something different if you want. We're getting that nice and hot. We're gonna grab our fish and we're gonna drop that in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this for about three to four minutes on each side. Now a good little tip is once it's in, leave it alone for about three minutes, then you can turn it. Don't start prodding it around now because it can break quite easily. I mean, again, depending on what type of fish that you're using. So I'll be back. In about eight minutes, I'd have turned it only once. I'm only gonna turn it over once. I'll see you then. So while our fish is frying, I'll just show you the ingredients we're gonna to use to make the sauce. So we've got soy, soy sauce there. I'm using a dark one. You could use light if you want, and ketchup, equal parts. By the way, all of the amounts are gonna be in the text below. A tablespoon of fish sauce garlic, two tablespoons of chopped garlic, some dried whole red chili, and some chili powder. That's about it. It's gonna make a really beautiful, sweet, spicy sauce. Okay, so our fish is nice and crispy and done. I'm gonna take that out, put that onto some kitchen paper just to get rid of any excess oil. We're gonna discard this oil now and we can move on to make a really simple sauce for this beautiful fish. See you in a moment. So I've got a wok here, I've got some oil in there. I'm gonna drop in our whole chili. And our garlic. Black pepper. Now I won't be adding any salt to this because we've got soy, the soy sauce is salty and the fish sauce is very salty. So for me, no need. So we're on quite a high heat. Just let this go for about one minute, 90 seconds, stirring all the time. Nice bit of color on the garlic is what's required. See you in a moment. So I've just got a nice little bit of golden brownness on that garlic. Now this can be quite noisy because everything's gonna go in now. We're gonna add the soy. The fish sauce. the ketchup and the chili powder. Of 
quick stir in there and that's beautiful I'll be back in like 30 seconds keep it moving so that sweet garlicky and salty with the kick simply let's get our fish drop that in with the heat on for like two minutes gently throwing it around so we don't break our fish Just gonna add a little bit of water another two minutes I'll see you at the table Okay, and there you go, that is really beautiful. Like I say, got all that garlic in there, the chili and the sweetness. I love that. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. We'll see you soon, lots of love.